Welcome back to TP5 News at 9. It is time now for Legally Speaking with Attorney Carol Thomas, and she's joining us now. Attorney Thomas, it's good to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you this morning, Blake. Yes, yeah, same as to you. We are talking about elder law, estate planning, and trust. So, Attorney Thomas, tell us your popular seminars are coming up. When and where can people attend, and what topics will you cover? Well, I'm very excited that my next seminars are coming up on Wednesday, September 28th in Bay City at the Courtyard by Marriott. And I have sessions at 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock. I love presenting these seminars, Blake, because it gives out such valuable information. And I don't know where people could get this information if I didn't do these seminars. And I've actually done them for over 20 years in the community. Yeah. I talk about wills and trusts and how all the estate planning fits together fits together that not only it helps someday when someone dies but also if there's an incapacity issue before someone dies and if long-term care is needed we can get assets protected and people just aren't aware that that can be done we are very appreciative you're out in the community you know giving us this information and you said those seminars you've been doing 20 years always seem to fill to capacity why do you really think that is well, I think it's because, as I said, there's really nowhere else to get this information. And as people come to me, they always say, oh, I'm bringing six friends to your next seminar. And it just snowball over the years because people enjoy the seminars. It doesn't sound like a great topic, but I try to make it enjoyable. And I tell stories so people understand what are their options, what do they need to do before it's too late. I always talk about how I love sports. Oh, so I love this time of year, college football. Yes. But I'd rather be on the offense than the defense. And I look at this as kind of like a sporting event. You want to be in charge. You want to make decisions, not wait until something happens. Say a spouse has a stroke or suddenly there's some medical crisis that now your spouse is in a nursing home and you're looking at spending $12,000 a month. And if you haven't been prepared, it's a nightmare for families. Is there something that you hope people can take away from attending one of your seminars? I think they can take away hope, knowing that they're not going to go financially broke if a loved one ever needs long-term care. And if someone has been diagnosed with a dementia or with Parkinson's, the reality is there may be nursing home down the road. And not only is it a terrible emotional thing to deal with a spouse or a parent, having a medical crisis, but to think financially, everything that you've worked your entire life to achieve, you could lose. It's wonderful when people can leave and know, wow, I can get things protected. And it's good to know that they have options. So after your seminars, Attorney Thomas, what are some comments that you hear when people attend? What do they usually tell you? They usually tell me how glad they are that they came. They had no idea that this was available. And again, they say there's really nowhere else to get this information. And people say, well, I've looked on the internet and you really can't go to the internet to get the information that I share with people. So I really encourage anyone over the age of 50 or if you have a parent that's over the age of 50 to consider coming to the seminar so you can learn what your options are and then you can take it from there. And the cookies and brownies are always delicious too, Blake. Oh and that is a great incentive to come as well on top of the additional knowledge. Attorney Thomas, is there anything else that you feel someone should know about the importance of attending before we go? I just want to encur encourage people to consider coming. I promise that they won't be disappointed and you'll learn such great information that again, you may choose to do something, you may choose not, but at least you have the options to make your own decision. Attorney Thomas, thank you for, first of all, being our local guide in estate planning and trust. Thank you for calling in as well this morning. Thank you very much, Blake. You're very welcome. And if you at home want more information, just go to our website and make sure you go to the hot links section. That's WNEM.com.